Boom! Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing. This time we have the Primal Garuda, or the, the Wind-Up Garuda. Minion, Mascot, Figurine, Volume 2, Figure 3, I guess. <laughs> Made by Taito, comes from Claw Machines, that's out of the way. So let's look at the box, lovely picture on the side there, and again, this shows off that it isn't just characters that these are doing. Ooh, 459953, again. <laughs> it is the minions because this is very obviously the minion version of Garuda. So let's get straight to the figure. Uh, these are very, I wish that these were being produced like in the Square Enix store because these are like, right, the camera. These are very exclusive figures at the moment because of the fact that they come from a cl only claw machines in Japan. Ooh, this one comes with four bits, or rather four sections. So, first off we have our Final Fantasy XIV, prize only, we have our stand. Next up we have our feathers and air attacks, air attacks, wind attacks, which the minion doesn't have. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Ah, it's the wings that it attaches via. So let's look. So if that's the front, Right, so let's put these on. That'll make it easier. Ah, oh, I think that the wings go into these. Ah, to simulate flying. That makes sense. So we have a tiny and a big. That simple enough to go in. We have three. Un, deux, trois. Uh, that one was a bit tough to go in. Already, this is... Very nice, and much nicer than the Efreet figure that came in the last set. And since that's there, I imagine this must be the front, so... Try and carefully do this. So that wing went in nice. This one's being a bit more awkward. Alright, one second please. Ah, there we go. So that was a little bit more difficult and I had to use a little bit of force. But for the sake of the fact that this is actually probably the nicest figure they've made so far, I think a little bit of extra work to get it to go to get that was worthwhile. So yes, as we saw, as you can see, a tiny bit from like there and there you can see where it connects but it does make it so that the figure for the most part actually does look like it's flying as you can see and that's really nice the feathering effects are really nice like on the hair and the ears I guess again lovely gradation save for all of them Nice paint work for the gold and for a lovely golden thong. <laughs> yeah. Very, very nice figure. And a perfect way to end out Volume 2. So yes, that was the final figure for Volume 2. Join me next time as we go on to Volume 3. Which may be the last volume of figures. At least for now. For the plushies, it went into three volumes. So I'm thinking it might be the same for the figures. Then they might move on to something different. I hope not, but only one way to find out, and that's to wait. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this look at a very, very nice figure. The see-through wind and the way that it does simulate flying is it's just... These figures have gotten better and better as they went on. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.